All right, here we are. Vampire Logan here. We are getting ready to play Avatar Legends Noir. Uh, we're having a uh, session two or uh, episode two. And uh, we have our, all our players here um, for uh, the second episode. And I have, um, I'm going to do a little uh, recap. So last time we had uh, everybody. Um, Stacy was uh, getting to know the detective agency and uh, doing um, kind of figuring out what needs to be done, getting the list of uh, of uh, old contacts, finding out about the grandmother that has gone missing that used to own the detective agency, and uh, the so the current owner of the detective agency is Atka uh, with the uh, partner in the business uh, with Haku and uh, they had uh, two new interns join the, the uh, detective agency, uh, Lee and Ed, Ed, was it Ezra, Edra? Edress, sorry, yes, Edress. I can't read my uh, text, it's too small there. Um, and uh, so they joined the detective agency and they found uh, a bunch of old case files that they needed to investigate and one of them was a murder case. They followed up on that one to a um, a bar in Lowtown, and uh, it turned out to be um, previously owned by someone named Mr. Chan, and now seemed to be owned by uh, some criminal element, uh, possibly part of the triad. So the group went in to see what was going on in there. Uh, I think you guys talked to the bouncer and then asked to see the boss. And uh, he was convinced that you maybe had some information or that you um, had some reason to talk to him. I can't remember what it was, but uh, he led you across the bar uh, during which uh, Lee saw someone she knew in the bar. Uh, but didn't say anything to the others. And then when you went upstairs to meet with the uh, leader or the current seeming owner of the bar, uh, you encountered him in his office upstairs and uh, had a fairly short discussion before... What was the inciting incident up there? You guys were, I think, threatening each other or something like that? Yeah, I think it... Anyway, combat ensued. <laughs> and, uh... And then the bouncer... Or the bouncer tried to get in and some other guards tried to get in, but you guys blocked the door. And then you uh, kind of beat up the boss and then grabbed him and took... took off out the back way while they were chasing you. And I think we're going to start up uh, just as you get to your um, vehicle. Now, some of you came by dragon, so I think you put the, the guy on the dragon with, with um, Edris. Oh, yeah, 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 two of you were riding the dragon, got scooped up by, uh, scooped up the bad guy, and you guys started to fly away, and then who was on the ground? I guess there's a motorcycle there? Did you take the jalopy, or did you just bring the motorcycle? Yeah, I think you had, I think you had the the motorcycle in the back of the jalopy. So, do you do you want to take take off with that instead of taking the jalopy? Okay. <laughs> so. Uh... <laughs> So are you? Uh, so what are you doing? I'm gonna start it here. Here's where you guys are right now. So you're, you have just mounted up on your dragon, and you're you're going with. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. So you two are on the dragon uh, with, and it's grabbing the guy in, in its claws. And so Atka and Lee are... What are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, I think we had that conversation last time. <laughs> okay, so who's driving then? Lee, okay. <laughs> okay, so um so you I I will say are not familiar with driving a um, vehicle, and I will say uh, that is a um, not using your skills. Uh, I think just I think you're just pushing your luck, basically. <laughs> so, um, definitely shoot. Yeah, which one is it? Where is it? Here it is. So yeah, a um, push your luck will be. So that's passion. So yeah, make a roll for passion to see. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll go over here. Oh yeah, we should move to the uh app are we on here? Move it over to the low town map. And I should go. I'm just uh, getting the players set up on the board here. So you got a seven, unless you want to roll yourself. Okay. Okay, so here, um, you don't understand this clutch thing, and you go to to turn it on, and it just goes kajunk kajunk. <laughs> All right. All right. So you guys switch spots quickly. <laughs> you guys both have the same shirt. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so uh <laughs> Is she going to get hers now? Okay, so uh, you can roll a um, rely on your skills and training, so you know how to drive a car, and uh, so that'll be a focus roll. You, you're driving, right? Yeah, but this is a th this. Yes. 
No, you you know how to drive, but the engine is flooded. You need to get it back uh, going again. <laughs> so roll a um, uh, focus check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh oh to um just left click on the six sided twice. Where are your dice? Oh they're they're packed. Oh okay, hang on a sec. I'll I get uh do you wanna just come down here and grab them or here, I'll get them for you. Hang on. <laughs> She'll be right back. Six sided, yeah, just two six sided dice is all you need. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, two six sided, add them together and add your focus ability. Okay, plus your six. Ooh, yeah, it's still stolen out. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> all right, uh, while well, carrying a guy and two people on its back. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so um, here's what happens before that. So uh, from the top of the building, a gout of flame comes up the top. And uh, you hear people yelling in there. And uh, you hear some uh, water splashing around. And then uh, a, a bunch of... Uh, um, People run out of the bar from the front door where you guys are parked and see, um, yeah, they see you guys in the car and on the dragon. Uh, have you guys, are you guys, you guys could have left already if you want to with the dragon or you could wait and see if they get away. Okay. Okay, so you guys are flying, but you're hovering over the vehicle. Okay, so um, now uh, that that's when you have now now you're trying to turn over the uh, the car. You see those guys over there. You guys jump into the back and get on the motorcycle, and uh, you um, yeah make a uh, make a uh, you're a little stressed right now because it's not things aren't working your way. So uh, make a roll to see if you can. Quickly get your bike running and, and open the door or run through the door. Yeah, so same same thing. You rolled two sixes? Uh, it's a focus again. Okay. <laughs> hey, you you don't need to roll. You don't need to roll, you're just jumping in the sidecar. Um so and you've gotta you gotta a five and a four, did you say? And your focus is plus one, so you actually got a ten. So you you come out of the um, you jump through the back uh, way from the front seat into the back and land right on the on the uh, um, bike seat and immediately put the key in vroom, vroom, 
and uh, he jumps head first into the the um into the uh, sidecar or Lee does <laughs> with their legs hanging out in the back like that, and uh, and you go vroom, you take off the bike pulls a wheelie bashes the front um, wheel against the door pops it open and you go racing out onto the street. <laughs> Okay, and then uh, the guards uh, that are, are the guys that came out of the bar uh, see that this is going on, and they uh, um, run for uh, some some of their vehicles. Okay, but they're going to be a little bit behind you now because you got out so quick from that. Yeah. So now that they're away uh, in their vehicle, do you guys want to fly just straight across? Uh, back to the. Oh yeah, and sorry. And where are you actually going? You gonna follow the car or the motor motorcycle? Okay, so the motorcycle uh, heads off down the street, and you uh, end up with um, a couple of other uh, bike. Um, the triads have gotten onto a couple of bikes and are chasing after you now. And so now uh, you're racing through the streets. Uh, we're going to get you to make another um, focus roll with the uh, um, using your skills to see if you can uh, maneuver through the streets and try and lose them. I mean, you could just do that from the back of the of the dragon because you're not. You guys are just above the the height of the a little bit above the height of the um of the truck, right? All right, so that will be a. I'm going to consider that a uh, you're trying to help your companion, right, to get away. So um, you can mark one fatigue uh, and get, do you have enough fatigue to mark one? Okay. So if you mark one fatigue, then... Uh, um then Atka will get a plus one to the to the roll. Okay. 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 Okay, so um I will give you uh um uh, because you're like face first down there, I guess you you roll yourself around and that's where your fatigue comes from is setting yourself up uh to to do that and then uh, make your roll uh what does it say to use for that? Oh, okay. So yeah, we'll uh, we're not really doing combat, but that's good enough to to do that. So we'll we'll say um, if you succeed, I'll give the plus one another plus one. Thirteen. Holy cow! All right. How do you get a thirteen? Oh, right. Okay. Good. Okay. So yes, you will get another plus one. So you have plus three on this roll. Um, Atka. So, 
So that would have been seven plus three would have been ten. So you get a, uh, a better success. Just barely from all their help, it uh, it definitely works, and uh, that pushes you up to uh, basically you are able to quickly swerve down an alley, and then the uh, uh, ground comes up and kind of blocks off the alley, and they go flying into it and and get shunted off to the sides, and uh, um, and uh, and also pushed off their bikes by a gust of air. So they're going to have to take a while to get back on them and get them uh, over that obstacle. And uh, you guys are able to make a few more turns around uh, through the streets to kind of lose them. And uh, they don't know where you went. Okay. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so now where are you actually going? Okay. Okay. You, you guys don't actually have any licenses to do any business, so. <laughs> yes, your grand grand was definitely a licensed detective, but that doesn't mean you guys are my proxy. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have you make, anyone who wants to can make an assess the situation role right now to see if you think they would um, know where you guys are going. So it's a creativity roll, 2d6 plus your creativity. You, you can all roll it, so. Plus your creativity or? Okay. 10, okay. Okay. Snake, that's <laughs> okay. So three, two successes, one one uh, uh, strong success, and one fail is pretty good. So between the um, the three of you who succeeded, uh, you're pretty sure that they don't. I don't think you guys said the name of the detective agency because we haven't actually um, named it yet. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go with the Noir Detective Agency. Okay. Um. <laughs> well, you can rename it, I guess, but uh, before it was called the Noir Detective Agency, but not, since she's been gone, it's... Yeah. What was her name again? What was it? To Pisa? Okay, so um so I guess it's the To Pisa Noir Detective Agency. Okay, so um but you guys didn't say where you were from because I remember you not saying that. You just said you were detectives. And uh then um so yeah, you think that uh from what you guys had said they didn't know where you were and you guys are looking around too as you're traveling. started a fight <laughs> they may not believe it so they will be looking for someone who said they were detectives and you're they know what you look like but um as far as you know right now that nobody seems to be tailing you and nobody um you don't think they would know right off the bat who who you were i don't think you asked about your grandmother either so 
<laughs> All right, so you head back to the agency, and uh, uh, what do you do with your prisoner? Go where? Actually, you didn't. You didn't know you had a basement, but yes, you do have a basement. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. And Skeeter says, Oh, yeah, the basement, it's kind of a mess. Um, he looks at him and then just shakes his head. <laughs> I don't want to know. Huh? <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm, I'm not a cook. Oh, Uber. <laughs> the twenties Uber. <laughs> Uber, Uber drone. Um, he goes, uh, I guess I can go out and buy some. Do you have any money? He kind of looks, he looks at it and says, uh, frowns, he goes, who would buy that? I'm not upstairs is where you guys live actually and 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 eat so the front area is tiny did what What? There's no cells in the basement. I haven't described the basement to you yet. I haven't described it to you yet. <laughs> That's not how this game works. The DM tells you what you see. <laughs> Uh, sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me get you guys in here. So you go downstairs and you bring your prisoner who uh, starts to wake up and then uh, Edris punches him, knocks him out again. And, uh, you get in there, and it is a big mess of um, furniture with sheets over it, lots of cobwebs. Um, it's basically been used as storage. And so there's, like, tables and chairs and um, uh, all kinds of things under... Huh? It could be. Um, but it's a bit, it's a huge mess down there. There's like, it's falling apart and there's like all kinds of 
dust and and uh, trash down there. And uh, yes, there is a supply closet that you could use that has a lock on it. Um, do you you want to go tell the cops that you have a guy captured in your in your uh, abducted and captured in your basement? <laughs> Okay. You haven't mentioned that to the group yet. <laughs> so you do now. <laughs> uh, he. Uh, no, he did not run out when the, uh, when the uh, thugs came out. I mean, that's how you got this guy to uh, admit a few things. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. That was a cool thing, yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, so You do notice a couple things um, that uh, now that you're looking at the basement on, with those thoughts in mind, you do notice that there is um, uh, something that seems shaped uh, kind of like a piano and uh, under one of the, the sheets. And also um, there does appear to be a raised platform at one end of the, of the uh, basement and possibly something that can be used as a, as a movable bar. So there are parts in there. They are pretty run down, but you, if you cleaned it up, you could maybe make it into something. And the space is actually reasonably... It, the ceiling is a little bit low, but it's kind of uh, cozy. Yes, there are chairs and tables stacked up. Um...
Just, just remember, we're playing the Avatar game, so uh, do you ever see any char any of the good characters on the show torturing someone? <laughs> it it actually says in the it actually says in the rule book that the player the characters are heroes, and it's part of the rules. <laughs> It says that at the rate of the beginning of the book. Justin Page. Yeah. The bad guys do that stuff, though. <laughs> I don't think any of the heroes blood bend either. Yeah. I mean Yeah, you can just tie someone up and question them. You don't need to torture them. <laughs> Um, all right, so, uh, he is going to be out for a while because, um, he was just waking up and then, um, Edris knocked him out again, so he will be unconscious for a while, so... Clean up for the guest. <laughs> Chan family. It was Chan. Mr. Chan was the guy who owned... The um the the address you have is the bar address. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you guys went, uh, after dark, so that, that whole thing didn't take that long, actually.
<laughs> okay, uh, make a uh, trick roll. Um, that's creativity. Uh, yep. Okay. Um, so, so, uh, you managed to just barely, um, get away with that. It looks like someone was gonna, um, uh, stop you, but then someone called them over to, uh, uh, talk to them about their order. And so you just get out of there in time. And, uh, you run back to the place with your stolen food. And Skeeter, Skeeter is just about to leave when you come back, and he goes, Oh, uh, are you doing that then? Okay. <laughs> he goes back inside. He says, it's... It's okay, I already ate earlier. <laughs> okay, so, uh... <laughs> Uh, well, you guys are in the basement anyway, so he couldn't even... Oh, I... yeah, it doesn't have windows that are out to the... Uh... It's a storage basement, so it's not a windowed basement for someone to live in. Yeah. puddle at the front door. For what? Sure. No role necessary. Yep. There's all kinds of, of junk down there, so there could be empty bottles or, or jars. <laughs> no, <laughs> empty empty jars. Or they could have had something in it, but who knows what you would if you would want it. Yeah. There's pickled cabbage in there. Yep. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> My pickled cabbages. Okay, so you guys clean up the basement um, uh, and get it reasonably um, sorted out. Uh, maybe move some uh, the tables and chairs around to maybe make some, some potential... Uh, there is a furnace, yes. It's it's already working. Skeeter has been maintaining it. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna say it is um, uh, spring. So your spring cleaning is done. <laughs> Sure. You hadn't grabbed the drink yet? I thought you went and grabbed it for me. You got distracted. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Well, you guys, um, so you guys ate the food and then you spent like several hours cleaning up the space because that's kind of what you were doing. So, uh, but now, um, yes, he will be wait. You guys were kind of just doing that to waste time until he wakes up. And so, uh, he does wake up now. Sure. Um, most of the stuff down there hasn't been touched for more than three months, so not much for clues down there. Um, yeah, and then you, so you have, a cleaned up a fair bit of the, uh, space, and, uh, the guy is starting to come to now. What are you gonna do? <laughs> hold it, hold it, hold it, Edris. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I was gonna get, uh, I think he gave you guys his name. I'm just gonna look that up. Yeah, Zohar. His name was Zohar. <laughs> he goes, what, what, what's going on? He goes, oh, you guys don't know what kind of trouble you're getting yourselves into. You. <laughs> you guys, um, got... You guys got that already, I believe. Yeah, he he kind of indicated that uh, he he'd uh, been disappeared, basically. Okay. He goes, um, well, uh, make your roll on your, on your, um, what are you trying to do here? Intimidate, I guess. Um, well, someone can spend a fatigue to, um, uh, give someone else a plus one. You can choose you can choose to do that after the roll though. So you can make the roll then see if you need the 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 help. Yeah. Who's got the best passion score cuz that's what it's the roll is for intimidate. <laughs> And Halloween girl, what's what's Atkas? Yeah, you're the highest. You're the highest. So you're doing the intimidate. But you don't need to do it until she rolls. So, uh, so make a roll for intimidate. And. Uh, seven. Uh, and then plus, plus your passion, so eight, so, 
plus one. So it's an it's an eight. So uh, another plus one's not going to help. So you don't need to to help with that. Um. So. So there is. Um, so I guess, uh, yeah, he can't really do anything, um, because, like, Intimidate, he just it has these five things that you can, they can choose to do, but none of them are, like, I guess give in with a few stipulations. All right, he says... He says, look, I don't know much about what happened to him. I just know that when someone doesn't pay up, bad things happen to them. Mr. Chan. Mr. Chan. Hey, we, we paid them for that bar. Yeah. Hey, I didn't keep track of them after we gave them money. That's their their what do they want to, what they do with it is up to them. We didn't keep Yeah, they left. Mr. Chan, Mr. Chan was the one that didn't pay up, and he, he got what he deserved for that, and his family, they got compensated for, uh, their giving up their, uh, their business. And uh, so Haku, make make a make an assess the situation roll on that. Uh, that's a creativity roll. No, nope, this is the murder case. Yeah. Okay, so you actually catch him when you when you said what you just said, you actually catch him nodding and then he catches himself and stops. <laughs> Nobody else notices it though, just you did. Yep, go. What do you what do you say? It's been three months, we decided last time. Yeah. Well, when when they put me in charge of the bar, I just um, you know, it's it's a triad bar now. So mostly just triad members go there.
Hmm. Um, okay, make a trick. Make a trick roll. Creativity. Okay, um, so you're asking him uh, about his superiors, and uh, so he, um, yeah, he says, uh, what can I review? Yeah, he says, uh, um, Oh, you mean, you mean Kiana? Uh, K-I-A-N-A. He goes, yeah, she put me in charge of the of the bar. He goes, how do you know her? cameras went all screwed we need her to get back on at least leave her computer on so it doesn't screw up all the, the screens uh, I'm okay hang on a sec I'm gonna go check and I'll go check and see if she has to go up for the it could be for the kids but um, if she's not there then I'm just gonna turn the, the discord back on so we can at least still have this screen set up properly Hang on a sec. It's back. <laughs> you're not from there. <laughs> or you're not a nomad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so where were we? You were asking about Kiana? And he, he says, uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll get you to make another trick roll because uh, the previous one was to get her name. To find out if she's... To find out where she was.
Okay. So you rolled a five and you have a, um, is that including your bonus? Creativity? Oh, uh, where are the dice? I don't see any on here. Oh, are your characters not on the screen? Oh, okay. Hang on. Um, okay, so you got characters on the screen. Um, so yeah, it was a, a seven total. Five or six. Yeah, I think you rolled a five and then you had a plus one, right? Okay, so now someone could spend uh, one fatigue uh, to give a plus one on that and make it actually succeed. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, in, in this case, you're trying to aid with a trick. So you're saying, oh, yeah, yeah, she's at Ember Island or something like that, right? Okay, so you help out with that and get it to um, him to continue being fooled. And he goes, "What? wait, you're not Ember Island. She's, she's, she's here in town. And then now he, now he's a little suspicious now because you... Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. So if you know her, you know that uh you shouldn't be messing with with me. She's not as uh easygoing as I am. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> uh, did you guys tie him up, or is he just in the room? Okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he says, uh, you bring me here and you tie me up? That's That's not just friendly asking some questions. And you already attacked me in my office. Shut up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you could just make you could just make a wall of air that blows towards him so he can't hear what you're saying or away from him or whatever. Well, it's actually better if the airbender does it, because if Lee does it, then then there's going to be a permanent... Yeah, or it could wreck the structure. It's not good to mess with structures of buildings. <laughs> yeah. You can block... You can block sound. You can block sound.
You guys could also just put a hood over his head. <laughs> the more you beat him up, the more he's going to want to get revenge. A legitimate business owner, actually. <laughs> <laughs> as far as you know. <laughs> and you're you already planning on having a speakeasy in your basement. <laughs> Let's attract some more police attention. <laughs> You, you. He says a, uh, a bleeped out word. Because <laughs> again, it's a kid show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Watch your mouth. Yes, it is. I'm, I was just kidding. <laughs> well, now he looks unconscious. <laughs> His address just knocked him out again. <laughs> okay, you find a... Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so who's going? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what is what is the role for going against your nature? <laughs> it 
There isn't a thing for that. <laughs> Calling someone out to go to live up to their principle. I guess that's deny a call out. See living. Yeah. Well, he doesn't know, he doesn't know, he, he was unconscious when he came into your building. So the only thing he's, he, he knows who you are, but it's a big city. Chances of him coming across you. Tiana. The other thing is that it may be hard to, it may be hard to, like, for them to, like, know what to do with him, because he does, he, as far as you guys know right now, he, he can't really be charged with a crime. You, you know people who could maybe hold him for a while, um, but he's eventually going to get out because they can kill it unless they charge him with something. So you could get him... Yeah, you, it'll, get, it'll buy you some time to look into the uh, stuff that, you're, that you just found out. You got you gotta build one of those cages in your basement like in you. <laughs> okay. So do you are you guys uh, okay with that? You're going to put him uh, with uh, one of her cop friends who will, like, detain him for for, for a little while. Okay. So, uh, you take him uh, to someone you know that um, uh, can... Yep. Goes. And up. Like, someone had ice breaks. <laughs> and, and Skeeter says, as he puts him into the um, sidecar, he says, I never did nothing like this. Tapiza was running things. <laughs> <laughs> Never getting paid. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm 
Okay. Yeah. I'm going to just um, uh, narrate it because nothing needs to be um, done with that. So so basically you go to uh, your contact. Um, do you have a name or should I just make one up? Okay. <laughs> okay, Sight Town. Actually, um, you do know that Lynn still um uh uh consults with them. So uh, this is this guy close with her, or is he kind of a rival? Okay. Um. Okay, so you meet uh, with him in a... Uh, what kind of place would you meet at? All right, a little uh, cop coffee shop outside the police station. Okay, and uh, um, so you got this guy uh, sitting in your sidecar. Uh, I guess you, you get rid of the, the ice and then um, bring him over there. Okay, because uh, that's going to be kind of... Yeah, she's got him kind of bound in ice. His limbs are bound in ice with her um, special ability. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're just playing a detective game, man. There's no, no, no magic in this. <laughs> Okay. Sure. He's been he's been hit many times in the head. <laughs> okay, so anyway, you bring him to this guy. The guy says, "Whoa, what's this we got here?" Oh, uh, you can you can we can uh, role play it out. I just want to know what you're going to say, what you're going to say you're, you're going to want him to do. Oh, is this the Chan case? Oh, Lynn told me about this one. Uh, you know, um, I, I have, uh, I heard that you had come back and uh, were taking over the uh, detective agency. You know that your grandmother, um, was pretty good friends with Lynn. And, uh, This is this is one of the cases that um, that uh, Lynn kind of passed to your grandmother because uh, um, you know it's one. So, sometimes we have cases that we can't really investigate on the books, and so Lynn sometimes would give grandmother cases um, without her name on it. But this one was was definitely from Lynn, so I know what this is about. Uh, I know who this guy is. This is uh, uh, Zohar, isn't it? Yeah, I know about him. Uh, I can't really officially arrest him, but I can keep him in holding for a little while. Probably about 24 hours. Yeah, we know. So far, he's been pretty careful. So I can, he's, he's been 
in and out before, and uh, he always manages to get uh, someone to get him out of here. So I can hold him for at least 24 hours, um, but eventually they're going to notice and, and come looking for him. So unfortunately, we, we're kind of our hands tied a bit with the uh, triads because any move we make, um, they have they have a lot of clout. And I'm not going to say anything more about that, if you know what I mean. But uh, that's why that's why um, your grandmother was kind of called in on this one. Yeah, I'll take care of this for you. If you can uh, um, find out anything more, just uh, let me know. All right, you better uh, you better get out of here before anybody sees you. Hey, segue back. You arrive back at the. Oh, um, yeah. You guys are. What are you guys doing while she's gone? More cleaning up. Yeah. I think it was more like about nine when it happened, and then you spent like about three hours cleaning up, so it was probably midnight. So yeah, you guys can go to sleep. And then I'll just say that um, uh, Atka comes back, goes to sleep. You guys wake up next morning and uh, ready to go. You got about 24 hours to kind of figure out what's going on before that guy gets out. <laughs> All right, so what's your next move? Hey, we'll skip the food part. You guys have some food. Um, <laughs> late night bake shop. <laughs> I mean, you guys did beat him once. Yeah, the outstanding cases. Sorry, go ahead. What was that? Hey, Fong. Ha <laughs> 
Another grandma. <laughs> 